Hello friends and welcome back to Honeybee Farmstead. Thanks so much for joining us today and we hope you enjoy this video. Hi Charlie. Hello beautiful girl. Hello. Go help. Go help. What's he doing Charlie? Yeah, good girl. All right. Let's see how good you are at rounding things up, Charlie girl. By the way, guys, she has never been taught this. This is not her quality. That's it. So, Alex, help me lift this. Alex, help me lift this. We'll put it there as an extension of that gate. See there? Just go that way towards the gate. All right. Hey. There we go. They should be a, a come on, Charlie. 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 No. No. Good girl. Right. Charlie. Mina. Mina. Come here, girl. Good girl. Gently. That's it, stop. Let them see it. That's it. No, that's it. It's all right, it's all right. Not too much. Stop, Brock. You're No chooks in the garden. There's a turkey there too. Good girl, Charlie. Brock, leave the chicken. Good. Yes, I am. Good girl, Charlie. Charlie. You've got to get her to you first so she doesn't cut them off. So she hasn't cut them off. Charlie. Good girl. Good girl, Charlie. Call it back to you. Too close, babe. Good girl. Charlie. Charlie. Good girl. Good girl. That's it. Good ducks. Now stop! Charlie, come! Charlie! Charlie! Wait, wait! Listen to them. Run, run down there, babe, right in that gate. I'll go get the geese. Charlie! Oi, go there, bro. Get them back over there. Charlie! Whistle. Good girl! Slow it right down, honey, for them, and I'll pop back through that fence. All right, call her back. They're coming.
Good. Across towards the ducks. That's it. That's it, back this way. That's it. Good girl, Charlie. Good girl, Mina. You're being a good girl too. That's it. You goats are not being any help. Sorry. Call Charlie. Call Charlie. Whistle. Come here. Come, Mina. Come, Mina. Come on, Mina. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Let this one group. Look, let it group up. Let it group up. That's the way. Now, babe, forget the goat till we get the geese out. In. Forget the goats. Mina, Mina, come back, love. Come, come on, Charlie. Come on. Come, Charlie. Just gonna grab one, drag it in. Let the goats go in there. That's why I said that. Let the goats go. Come on. That's it, there they go. Brock, come over this way, they can see you. No, that, they wanna come. That's it, up and around, mate. Too fast, too fast. Come on. Good girl, Mina, come, Mina. Good girl. Good, good girl. Good girl, Mina. One more goose I'll catch. Good dog, Charlie. Pat him, pat him both. Good dog. And this is what we're counting on. They are gonna go nuts eating all that grass. Good girl, Charlie. Good girl. Look at those ducks straight into it. So they're gonna eat that. The dogs did a really good job. I'm gonna catch this one last goose here and pop her in so she's not alone. All right, sweetheart. I'm gonna grab it, yeah. Yeah. Well, Jackson just put his hand on the back of it yesterday and held the wings down. So you can't get angry at the goats because we hand raise them. They think they're part of the family. I'll do it, love. It's just intimidation, that, Brock. I'll do it, love. Do you want to take this? Come here, sweetheart. I know it's scary. It's scary. Look at him. All right, come on, girls. Come on, girls. Go, Charlie. No, snakes don't make that sound. They make the hissing sound, but they don't make that sound. Pumping, you're okay. You're not going to hurt anyone, are ya? Right, look at this beautiful fence that Alex and I made yesterday uh, to keep this section here <coughs> separate for the goats. Um, because this orchard here this is all going to be cleaned up too, so these are just temporary, these gates, um, just to keep the goats out for now. Putting go um, gates on is a little bit more involved, you know, welding and putting hinges on and chains for closing, all that sort of stuff. So we didn't have the time because Alex only got two days home. And yeah, so I'll keep this. That's all they need temporarily for now. 
just here. Um, but eventually, there's going to be a gate there, a gate there, and a gate here, so that all four paddocks link up and we can use it to move animals between. Then here, this horrible ugly fence here is being removed. We're going to go post to post and then straight down to the corner of the shed fence there and this whole area is going to be orchard. We pulled up all this. I think they did a garden bed here, but it was, yeah, I mean, not great. So uh, that leaves us heaps of room for fruit trees. Um, yeah, and it's beautifully fenced off. Um, and this fence won't even need an um, electric fencing unit on it because barb deters everything. And we, yeah, there's one at the bottom, two at the top, goats like to climb. So, well, we haven't found our goats to be too bad at that, but most goats do, and I want to be able to deter any goat, because we might even end up with, with others. This little gap here is going to be filled in with logs, and that was where the old driveway runoff sort of gouged out. So we're going to fill all that up with rocks and logs and stuff, and then mulch it heavily. Um, and then this is going to be, this is continually, like, it's a, uh, water runoff to the dam. They used to call them contour bank. Uh, we are hoping to kind of level it enough that we can plant along it and do like a food forest thing. So we're going to put some dates in here because dates tap into water down deep and yeah bananas and all kinds of things mulch it heavily and that's the future plan. Use the croaky voice. Um, I have been really, really crook for a solid week um, and I'm only just on the mend now. But I realized that I forgot to make the hoof care um, spray that I promised in one of the videos, uh, one of the videos further back. Um, so I'm gonna do it real quick for you right now, just in case any of you are waiting on that. Um, so the recipe is 20 grams of copper sulfate, right? So I have got this recipe off our um, farrier. And she's really great and she said that I do 20 grams of this. So I've got it in the weighing, actually I might just stand that up. 20 grams of that. And where's a skewer or something? What do we have in here? Here we go. Chopsticks. Where are they? Chopsticks. Going? There's one. Got it. So, watch out. I'm gonna push all this down. What are you doing? Making the spray for for Whispers hooves. Because I was meant to do it before I got sick, and I didn't get to. And then I remembered I promised everyone in a video, and I didn't do it. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to use this same. I'm going to use this. This is just apple cider vinegar we get from our feed store. That's why the container's dirty and gross. But it's 20 mil to um, one litre, and this, this bottle is a litre. So what I'll do, I'll just pour some for now. It's a like steaming. <clears throat> it's the copper coming up. And then, where is the, this one here? But it helps. Yeah, Yeah, you don't spray it, like the animal can't drink it or anything. So look, see it's all bubbled up. Reactions up. So we, we're gonna... Shake it, shake it. Oh, I spoke. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's not good. That's good. No, it's not good. That's not good. No, All right, now no. that it's dissolved, what we might do... Oh, that's that it, is... Let it sit. Don't point it towards Noah. It it's towards shut. Ah. It's shut. So oh, this is foamed up heaps. What we're going to do is leave it to settle down while we go on our next little adventure. Because, you know, we're not shy of an adventure here. Um, we're going to go to pick up 
something. Something really cool. So come along with us. And we'll come back and we'll finish this off when we get back. Another farm I just want to say real quick before we head off that we had, we lent our float and um, to someone and it got a little bit damaged. Like it popped off their ball and um, tore the all the electrics out of the little plug that goes in the back. And this guy fixed it all by himself. So like, Thank you, YouTube. <laughs> no, but not just that. How, um, yeah, like, look, it's all working wicked. Yeah, everything's Very working. So what I wanted to say mainly though is that this lifestyle and having your kids sort of free range and be able to take on things like that. Like initially I was like, oh no, wait till your dad comes home. But I'm always waiting for that because he's always away, right? So I am just like, you know what? Have a go, what's the worst that you can do? And he did it, he fixed it all by himself. And that's now a skill he can take into his life and, and use always and even teach others. And he's 15. Like it, this lifestyle breeds independence and it breeds creativity and you know, like just hard work and, and wanting to do it. So um, just a, yet another blessing that we've, you know, discovered whilst doing this homestead journey. Excellent job, Brocco. Super proud of you and you helped him, eh? You stood there and watched so you know how to do it. There we go. So we also do other things like we're about to build um, well, the move. We'll all different stuff that yeah, I know. I'll have to show that later. You welding. Yeah. There's a video on your well, fencing? that we I just welded all that. Fencing, uh, yeah, yeah, I have fence, everything, barbed wire, electrics. You know what else we're about to take on? We're going to make two movable pig tractors so that we can move two mama pigs around into fresh um, grass every day. Uh, we've been inspired by Alyssa and Paul's video to actually get cracking. We've been meaning to do it for a long time. <laughs> and we're going to. Um, the second one's going to be for the piglets to move them around all the time. But we'll show you that in another video. Let's get on and go pick up the next it's crazy uh, do it, Jack, do it. farm animal. Yep. Yeah, she's gone. We doing, Grace? Are you excited? So what's the girl's name? Lu uh, Lucy. Lucy. So we're going to have two Lucys on the farm. Yep. And the boy's name is Willie. I used to have a horse called Willie. Oh. Willie Nelson. He was a bit crazy. <laughs> Wait. I did oh used God, to have a willy like nelson. The black sheep. And that looks like smooch. Oh, is it pure black? Yeah. They were hand raised on bottles. They were orphans. Aww. Is that the buck? Yep. Yeah, they're always the mischief. And they stink. Yep. Yes. Hey, buddy. They are so friendly. I know. I've got something biting me. Yeah, you're a rat bag. Yeah. You're a rat they are super gorgeous. You yeah. Love it. <laughs> well, when he hunts you, you will love it. Yeah. yeah. Does he do that, does he? Sometimes. He Sometimes. might have to have them removed. We've yeah. got a really good, a pain-free way of having them Fantastic. removed. Fantastic. I was going to say that because he's, he's, it's just when he's playing. He plays. He plays. To little kids. Yeah. Yep. So we had um, a <laughs> ram that did that because hand raised anything with testosterone will attack during yes. the testosterone phase. Yes. Yep. And that's just his moments. And he'll just, sometimes he just comes up to the house and he's just, if he, if we like let him out, he'll just come for a walk around the block with us and follow us. Yep. And then other moments. You just... turn your back on him, he'll knock you down. Yeah. 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 Who? Yeah. 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 No, his elbow. No, his elbow. What'd you do? He landed on a rock, was it? Oh, good one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you want to go in and grab him? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Concrete slab. Oh, no. He's one for screaming, he's such a screamer. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Jackson, I've got to stay back with you. When the shearers come and they give him his... Uh, oh, you can go first. She won't go yeah, first. she will. She'll be fine. She won't actually do any harm to anyone. Jake, you won't? Come on, Lucy. No, no. One on either side's good. Oh, you're all Jeff. Wait, don't let him twist. That's what he's trying to do. <laughs> He's trying to trip you over. Clever. Come on, Lucy. No, that was fine. Um, so when they flick their head, the intent is to tear. Yeah. Um, 
That's what my cow did to oh, me when we first got go, up. Go, go. What are you doing? This is not hurting him in any way either. No. You feel his neck muscles when he moves. You feel his neck? Yeah. He's trying to pull off pull off us. I'm not winning. Yeah. I can feel his neck muscles tensing through his horn. Yeah. He's trying to trip me, yeah? Yeah, he's trying to trip him over. Yeah. He's got a wait to have a boy. Hi, Nay. At least we'll put her up in there first. Gracie, Just give me that you touch you to hold this. When they get the front end in, push her back in. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. Yes, buddy. Yeah. Hold on, buddy. <laughs> Watch out, watch out. Watch out. Yeah, back up. We are home, safe and sound, and I don't even know because I haven't looked. They're good. They're both in there and they're good. Hey guys, hey. Oh yeah, he spilt some food. He spilt the food, we knew that would happen, yeah. Hey little bugger. We were more concerned about them jumping out, them jumping out so we just kind of put a tether on lightly. It's we're cool. gonna, hey bar. looking at where they came from, I think these ones can jump and do jump different breed of goat too so our girls are really lovely on the fencing have never ever posed a problem but we know that these guys are going to so there's a little bit of prep has to happen um, We're here now, Bob. Uh, a little bit of prep has to happen to be able to keep these guys here <coughs> um, temporarily I'm going to need so see this crappy fence here this was here when we got here I'm gonna pull all that out um, because our plan is to, from that post to probably here, we're going to create a um, gate, an entrance way that takes us up to our pens and our garden and whatnot. Um, but so this is all no good to us. We're not going to be using this section. And over there, where the gates are that go from the driveway into this paddock, uh, we're probably going to fence straight up and cut this into two paddocks so we can rotationally graze goats and things like that in here. Um, but for now, we are going to have to tether, especially him. He's actually potentially dangerous. Um, they've both been hand raised, but he being an entire buck and he's almost two. Um, and he has been using his horns, so that's why they, one of the reasons they were getting rid of them. So... Um, we are going to do the dehorning trick that we did with Sadie um, and hopefully they just fall off exactly like Sadie's but we'll look into that before we do it to see whether that's viable for goats. Um, the horns have to go non-negotiable, they're pointy, they're dangerous, it is what it is and he's used them on people so he's no good like that. Um, we actually after picking them up have discovered that she is possibly quite heavily pregnant too so that's going to be very interesting we might have to do a poll about how long we have until she has babies or a baby so yeah a few little things that we weren't expecting um, but still it's going to be great we're going to roll this fence up get a couple of tethers we're going to put them on halters instead of like neck ones because we don't think they've been tethered before and it's the safest way um, so no one gets injured or anything like that there is already, look behind me, up there, a trough uh, with water. So I want to be able to put it so um, they can reach the trough or we're going to have to get another water system for wherever we put them. But there's lovely green grass in lots of spots so we might have to rotate them around like we used to do with Felix. Um, we still miss Felix terribly. Um, he was sort of planned to be our, you know, forever buck. And 
and sadly I don't we don't even know what happened we looked all over him for snake bite and there was no poisoning he wasn't frothing at the mouth we just don't even know what happened to him he just came out and he was dead one morning uh, it's possible he was older than we were told um, but I don't think so he was pretty spry pretty um you know active and things so we don't know sometimes these things happen but yeah it was terrible because he was you know our pet lovely little guy so yeah we're going to get those things happening and then um yeah we're going to go to our friend's house he's got like orange and mandarin trees that are prolific at the moment she and um, they can't keep up so we're going to go off and get some fruits and things like that so yeah we, we'll take you with us though when we sort it all out yeah okay go up in the car before we go i just wanted you guys to see this how adorably in love these two are hi ladies Ah, oh, that's sweet so mina's on the chain not that she's done anything wrong but we alt when we go out we alternate them on the chain we did have them going in a pen that was fully enclosed and secured but these ladies decided to dig out because it's too far away from us so we need a secure area that we can lock them in because they're only nine months old the pair of them and they're very very active dogs and we just don't want any misadventure we don't want anyone to hurt another animal or be found wandering or quite often people roar along this road we're on and like terribly fast well excessive of what they should so I don't want them to be like adventuring or going over the road where we quite often go with them and have them get hit by a car or wander onto someone else's property because they don't because they don't know the boundaries and stuff so um, when we go out at the moment until we figure out like the better solution of like a nice enclosure with a nice couch and things like that where they don't have to be on a chain I don't really like chains chains are a punishment place um, but you know they haven't done anything wrong so we just went out before to get the goats as you know so this lady went on the chain and Mina was off um, my instinct is to put her back on the chain because she no like she doesn't know the place as well as Mina and Mina hangs around to be with Charlie. I don't know if Charlie will do the same. I think she might. Um, but yeah, we're heading off to <coughs> before our friend um, goes out to get some mandarins. And um, yeah, we'll take you with us. All right. These ones are not quite right, love. Uh, they're not. But see, mandarin, Juicy mandarin, seat? mandarin, mandarin, mandarin. Oh, That's lemon. Jacko, mate. They are ripe. It's lemons. Oh yeah. Oh, look one. You missed one. You go for it. Please? Look at all these amazing chickens and ducks. There's a lot of Brahmins in here. It's got some beautiful coloured chickens, eh? They're everywhere. Look at them ones in the chicken you coop. Look in the chicken uh, in the duck pen. Let me see your basket. Ooh. Wait, bub, I don't want you to snap any branches. So Good if job, you can't Bob. reach, then we'll reach them Mom, for you. you. Grab that one. Nearly <laughs> yeah. Yes, that one. I must peel it open and eat it now. You must. must. You desperately must. I need to, just to see how it tastes. Look, Gracie. Yeah, I'm going in the second coop. I'll bend it down gently for you. Okay. Oh yeah, come on. Can you reach come it? I can't bend it anymore. I don't want it to break. Yeah, this is the only big one. Okay. No, there's heaps up here. Yeah, we're going to the chicken coop. Look at the chicken coop. Grab these, Brocco. Grab I don't want to bend it anymore. I don't want to break anything. Okay. Um, Twist them, love. Okay. And look, are you tall enough to get those? Big ones in the middle. Look over there, that one. 
in the duck pen. I exactly. bet you they taste different. You know why? Because of the manure. Exactly. Exactly. You're such a clever, clever girl. Yeah, because we live on a farm. Be careful when you're pulling it down. No, I don't want you climbing in the tree. I said that. I don't want you to hurt the tree, love. I know. It's just on this heavy stuff. Did you hear what I said, though? Oh, what's that? Is that a mandarin too? No. Where? Over here. This, yeah. this tree. Yep. Different type. Hello, chicken. And mum. I'm Are they the meaties? Yeah, yeah they're, they're the meaties. Wowzers. Look at the chest on that one. He's got some beautiful ducks, hasn't he? Mm. These are a different type of mandarin, eh? No, it's not. It's a mandarin. See the pucker in the top? That's how I can always tell. And they peel different. See how it comes off really... Mm. Are they ripe or not? They look ripe. Oh, hear, the, hear the sound? You won't get that with an orange. No, not ripe. Okay, we're not picking these ones. Yeah, look over here. Come over here. That was absolutely filled up with mine. Look at these beautiful chickens here. How gorgeous is this duck area? So here, here, they are on quite a slope on this block, but he's built the duck's water area. Good job, pop that in the car. He's built the duck's water area, or ducks and geese water area, into the side of the hill. So when it and runs off, it's up. It's been really cleverly done, I reckon. Look. Oh, him and Lupita are in a different car, eh? I don't know if these are quite right. Yep, get are they real. Orange? Yeah, really orange ones, okay? They have to be like. Wait, no, can you carry these? I'm going to fill these up with. Mandarin. She's doing what she's meant to do. That's guarding. Hi, Lupita. Hey, girlfriend. Yeah, Dad knows we're here. Relax. Hey, brother. How beautiful are those yeah. ducks? So, I'm going to finish pecking oranges. Pretty cool, huh? We're going to finish doing this. Then we're going to get back before it gets dark. Get the goat sorted. Mm -hmm. It's never ending here. So I've got two of my boys up there about to push. Jetson has gotten through here. Mum, we're going to make electric fence Look, here. look. Here's, this is where we used to have the electric unit connected. I'm going to bring it back down and connect it up here and make this top wire hot. So can you go walk the entire fence and make sure there's no trees hanging on any of this? Because I'm going to bring the electric unit over tonight and we're going to heat it up. Tonight? Tonight. There's still plenty like, of feed in this paddock. They do not oh need yeah. to be getting yeah, out. I reckon something the scared him though. Yeah. And he's ended up lo launching Fox? over. I now, foxes don't scare cows. No, Brock was running. Was no, running. Was running. The two no, sheep trying to catch him. Yeah, but, uh, but he, he was already out. He was already out. Me and sorry. Yeah, but you, you might have been on the road. So they're going to push him down along the fence and down here the fence is all broken. Try and get him across and then back up this way through this gate. So we're going to need... The trouble with this is half of these cows are super friendly. So if they follow him down here, we're going to need this gate shut or someone to keep them away. No, we're not cutting nothing. That's our boundary fence. We need to... Right. You guys come here. You're going to need to keep these guys from coming down here because they're going to want to come down here when he comes down here. I'm going to be in my grumpy mode. See? Same. See what's happening? Grumpy so they'll mode. follow him down the fence line. Let me get my grumpy mode on. One, two. There should be. There must be two out. One, two, three, four. How much cows is there? There's six. two. There's two out. There should be six. There should be Jetson and another one. Clementine. One, two, three, four. We're missing Jetson and Clementine. 
Is Clementine there? Yeah, she's there. Big fat heifer. Right. Oh, she's right there. She's pregnant. Look how fat these guys are. Look you might be able to call her. Go up there, Grace, to where oh, the where the fence is down. Down. I'll be here. Oh. I've got to be here. Otherwise, they will definitely get out. Grace, go up there to where the fence is broken, and you can call her across because she'll come oh, to you. Hurt. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Shh, 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 shh. Nah, T-Man, you're not crossing here, man. Wait a minute. Push them down. This is where they got out. We're going to bring the hot unit across to heat it up. Watch them. That's it, Jax. Gracie, show them. Up, up, up the laneway. Quickly, quickly. Good girl. Come on, Clem. Come on, rat bag. Jackson, this side of the car. Jetson. Jax, get around him. Naughty. Give him a kick. Come on. Right bags. Ooh, careful. Stay on your side of the fence. Rat bag. <laughs> Thanks, boys. Ooh. Nice some rat. Now, going into my filthy, dirty milking room. Uh, kids have obviously have been sick for a solid week. Uh, this is the kind of, I think, feel like maybe the cows got in. That's very messy. That's not even my kids, that. Um, but, yeah, they're pretty bad. Kids don't understand the um, level of organisation and, you know, cleanliness is required so that we always know where our things are and they're always treated to a high standard. Kids don't care. They really don't. Uh, my older my older one does. So Brocky's at the age where he gets it. He doesn't just toss shit around like this. But these kids these kids have. Um, so I'm gonna give this a quick tidy. And then yeah, look. They've looked for something at, at some point and uh, left it all just laying about. It would have been the the ring illustrator. Ring, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to quickly tidy this up. I'm going to grab the things we need. The reason I turned the camera back on was because um, whenever we get a new animal to the farm um, and we don't know its background or anything like that, we give them a solid worming um, to make sure they don't bring a par parasite, parasite load with them because we have not got that issue on our property with any of our animals at the minute so we don't want to introduce it so they're staying on the float for now i'm going to find a couple of halters that fit them on their face and um, give them a drench and they're probably going to stay in there overnight with water and food in the float and then that'll give us a chance to set up the area where we're going to put them but also for them to for the parasite stuff to start working and kill any possible worms or anything so yeah we'll get cracking on that eh Where's the rest of those? Did you put them up there? Well, that all that stuff goes up here, mate. I just have to grab. Oh, we got that's a good size. Um, do we want to do? I think maybe the rope halters won't be tight enough. Is that the alpaca one? So we'll put that on the girl, and maybe this yellow one on the boy. Hmm. Yep, that's a good cow one. We'll need that soon enough. Uh, oh. Seeds. Oh, these kids have made a bloody mess, haven't they? This tastes like um, croissant. Our bread that we make. It's the milk in it, I reckon. And butter. And butter. Yep. Buttery. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Homemade bread is the best. All right, we're going to get cracking and clean up. Uh, I can't stand this. So I'm just going to clean it up and then we'll take you over to show you the rest with the goats. Your old mama told us you like to headbutt things. So we're going to make sure you can't. Yeah. 
You best come here then, mate. Watch her. Yes. All right. You're good. See how he's putting his... You're holding him tight? Yes. No, mate. That's clearly not what I want. And also, I need you to... I need you to get me... Um, I'll hold his ear out the way too. I'll cut it off. No. Right here. Right there. No, you. Yeah, but you don't want to be holding the end that comes off. Oh yeah, you do probably. I don't know how I'm going to do this. With him moving. Yeah, yeah they're so they're so um, nimble. Yes. Light so. animals. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, Mina. Do you want me to hold the head as well? Or just hold this bit? Go! How far do you want it down? You need both hands free, don't you, for that? Kind of, but I can slow Can you hold his ear this way? There. Perfect. Do you want me to hold the end of the horn? So we finished taking the tips off the ends of the buck's horn. We put the doe in with our does. But unfortunately, it was starting to get dark and the dogs tipped over the camera. So we don't have much more than this. Uh, we did end up giving them a worming as well as putting halters on and a tether for this guy until we figured out a suitable yard because he can get out of everything. Uh, we also made sure that they got tags as the previous owners didn't have tags in their ears and that's a legal requirement of the Department of Agriculture um, that we have them all registered so we did that as well um, yeah and then everyone settled in beautifully but that's it for this video um, as we have no more footage to show you after this so if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already comment below share with any friends and click the like button and until the next video take care of each other and bye for now